all right guys so this is all the stuff that i have purchased for the new house already <laughs> so much stuff um some of this is stuff that i went and got from like tj max and marshall so that's kind of separate what i'm going to tackle in this video is all these amazon boxes that you see mixed in here i need to open up those and go through those and show you guys what all i purchased from amazon when they were having me the amazon what is it called the amazon prime day or whatever uh when things are just a few cents cheaper <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to go through all those, bring those boxes out and open those things up so I can pile them up neatly so I can put them in the truck to take them over to the house. The rest of this stuff is just decor. All right, loves, so this is what my massive haul looks like. I have so many, so many boxes. These are things that I purchased for the house that I could not buy through my builder. One day I'm gonna do a video about that whole experience. Um, I, long story short, I basically picked the wrong builder and um, they didn't tell me certain things. Um, or I should say things that were important to know in order for me to make the proper decisions. Um, and it was just like one thing after another. But um, that's a whole other video and I will do that one eventually. But as for right now, I took advantage of the Amazon Prime um, Day. I think that's what it's called. Anyway. I took advantage of it. I purchased a whole bunch of things that I knew that I wanted for my home. Um, so yeah, we're gonna open up these boxes and I'm gonna show you what all I got. Hi loves, okay, so I switched the camera around so you guys can see things a little bit better. I'm gonna try to make sure everything is really clear, but if not, I'll bring it up to the camera. Um, I also have to put some lotion on because I was looking real ashy and I can't be on here talking to y'all looking ashy every time I lift my arms. So anyway, let's get started. There are some things that I'm not even going to bother open, opening because um, I'm not going to be able to use it right away. Well, I'm not going to use any of this right away, but I'm just not going to open it because it doesn't make any sense to open it. For instance, like this, let me show you. So, the first thing I got was a laundry cart. You can see it has like these, uh, the wheels. Now my in my new home, my laundry room is on the second floor. So I figured I would get something like this so that um, we can just roll the laundry to the room when we're done folding, um, you know, taking everything out, folding it, um, rather than having to carry uh, baskets. So, I got this um, for that purpose. So yeah, um, this, I'm not gonna bother opening it until I get to the house, which should be done in about two weeks now. So I'll open it then. If I like it, obviously I'll keep it. If I feel like it's like cheap or not good quality, whatever, I'll have the time to return it. So that is the first item that I purchased. So we're gonna put that to the side. Um, I also opened this because, opened this one right away because I wasn't sure what it was. Um, so basically these are like little clear, let me open it. Uh, they're little clear um, curtain hooks. Now the room that I'm going to, my son is gonna have as his room is not technically a bedroom. Um, so that room has like clear doors. So I wanted to put, what, well, glass doors. And I wanted to put um, curtains on it to cover it for privacy for him. So I got these little curtain hooks and they're clear and they're sticky backs like the command hooks. So I'm just gonna put one on each side of the door and get the, um, the hook in it. You just lift this piece up, put the, the rod in there on both ends so he can have, curtains up to um, give him some privacy so 
that's what these are. The next thing I got that I've already opened because I wanted to make sure they were right are these. These are the handles that I'm going to use for my master bathroom. They have, excuse my nails, I had to take them down and let them breathe a little bit. So, um, I don't know if you can see, but it has like texture to it. And then it has the, the gold at the end. So I got those for my master bath cabinet tree. And I got um, these. This one I already opened. So we got um, double sinks in our master bath. So I got these. These are the handles. So it's basically they're spaced out like the hot and cold water is spaced out. Um, and I want it new. This is like the stopper. I wanted the hardware that I wanted. They didn't have like the builder. They have basically different stores that I can pick from. Um, and they were not willing to allow me to pick outside of those stores. So I just allow them to put whatever um, they wanted to put in there. And I said I will buy it. Because even the ones that I thought was like, okay, I can possibly live with those. They were like $600. And I spent, I think, 60 bucks for this set. Um, I got it on Amazon. I used, I purchased um, this hardware like this, similar to this from Amazon. And it works great i've had it for two years already um so the quality is there with little things like this i do not mind it not being a, a luxury brand like i don't mind if it's not kohler or you know those other um expensive brands because these are good quality so this is the faucet and then like I said, these are the handles. They have just a little bit of gold on it, so you can see. So this will match the hardware that I'm uh, putting on the cabinets. So we're gonna install those as soon as we move in. So that's that. Let's move on to the next because there's a lot of things in here that I really don't even remember what I ordered. So. Let's keep moving. All right, so let's open up this next box. I had to use this big chunky knife because I kid you not, we had about 50 small butter knives that the ones that look like this, um, well actually I think they were like kind of like steak knife, but they look exactly like this, just about this big. We had about 50 of them. I can't, I could not find one. I don't know what my kids did with them, but like comment down below. Do your kids lose silverware? Like I feel like I'm constantly buying spoons and forks because I don't know. It's like when they dump the food out, they just dump the silverware with it because I'm always constantly having to replace it. It's crazy. All right. So this is, ooh, curtains. So I purchased these curtains. They're black. Or I think I got these for my bedroom. Um, I don't know how I'm going to like them, but ooh, they they feel really nice. They're like velvet, and they're they cancel out light. Um, my room is going to have black accents in it, so I got these. Yeah, they're nice and they're super, super long. I have, I added an extra foot um, in my, in my, uh, to my second floor. So I have nine foot floors on the second floor. So I wanted to showcase the dramatics. <laughs> so I want long curtains. So these are 120, these are 120. And honestly, I think these might be too long. So I might have to end up uh, exchanging these but I don't know we'll see now this big old box for these two <laughs> I think 
these are the, the curtain rods for my girls' room. Um, I'm trying to purchase all the things that I know I'm going to need right away. Blinds, curtains. Um, I know their stuff, like their beds and stuff, are not going to arrive right away. Um, and that's okay because they can be on you know on the on the mattress on the floor uh, for now but I didn't want to not have curtains not have blinds um, I'm trying to make sure you know my girls have privacy so those things I'm like I need I need to have them right away um, so let's Are just I'm not even gonna pull them out that's the that's the middle part of the rod and then these are the knobs let me show you what those look like so this is for my one daughter they're it's like a, a, a diamond but they're like a matte black Cute. She wanted all black uh, for her room. For that's the one daughter. So she picked that out. So these two are hers. I'm glad I got those. And I'm guessing these are the other ones. I mean, they're not that much different. This is the the daughter who loves everything bright and cheery and she loves pink and you know she's I wouldn't say girly girly but she has her own unique little style with everything but these are that much different they have the same black rod and these have the uh, crystal one So they're pretty much the same, but one has the matte black, the other one has the crystal. So they have each have uh, two windows in their rooms. So these are theirs. The next thing that I'm going to show you, this big box says ceiling fan. I purchased a ceiling fan for the family room. And I also purchased one for our bedroom. Uh, my girls are torn. My 13 year old, she wants a fan as well. I did not have her room set up, like pre-wired for a fan, just the light. Um, so I've been looking into uh, those fan, those lights that have like the fans where the fan comes out of the like the chandelier so I think I'm gonna look into that it's still gonna be a different process in order to be able hold on I was opening this box the wrong way This doesn't have a picture, uh, but this is what it looks like. The basically, this actually this is the one for my bedroom. So it has a little bit of gold in it and black, uh, but it's really simple. It looks like this. So it looks like that. It has the light bulb at the bottom and then it's just a regular fan. I didn't pick anything too crazy. Me personally, I don't like the fan in the room. My husband's gonna freeze me out like he, normally he freezes me out with just the AC. But I don't know why I got crazy and got the fan in there, but you know, I guess I'm gonna have to get a super big 
expensive fluffy comforter for me because we do not share comforters. Do you guys do that? Like, do you guys, for my married or people in relationships who live together, like, do you share comforters? We used to share our um, comforter, but then it was constantly like, I'm a big woman, he a big man, so it's like, it was like, tug all night, you taking too much, you taking, so I purchased a bigger one, and it was the same thing, It you know, either I was freezing or he was freezing, so we just was like, you know what, we're gonna have our own, you have yours, I have mine. So, or he likes to be cooler, I like to be warmer, I like fluffy stuff, he likes just regular, so it's just easier that we got our own, um, and we've been happy ever since. So, if you're having those problems, take my advice, get your own, you're still in the same bed, <laughs> you can still touch each other if you want, but I want my comforter, I want to snuggle up in mine and be nice and warm, and not be having a fight for it all night. But um, that's the solution we came up with. All right, so the next box. Had two boxes. This, I had this and then let's see what these are because I feel like I've been talking and filming forever and I haven't even gotten through half of the stuff that I've got, so I need to speed it up. All right, let me see what this is. Oh, these are hardware that I got for the one bathroom. So the cabinet tree in this bathroom, and I'll show you guys um, when we move in, the, I, there's two bathrooms upstairs for the kids. So one has a blue cabinet, and it has like gray tiles and marble tiles. And the other one has brown cabinet tree and it has like white tiles and like a cream color tile. But for the blue bathroom, I got these. They're like clear acrylic. Why is it not focusing on it? All right, here you go. So this is like a clear, just regular knob for those cabinets I really like these I wasn't sure what they were gonna look like because you know you, sometimes you get stuff and it doesn't look the same way when you get it online I mean when you get it home it doesn't look how it looks online um, all right I don't know what's in this box so let's get this one open Oh yes, the light fixture. They really packaged this one up good. They was like, listen, we don't want no errors. This is like the globe to the light fixture. This is for my master bath. So, pull this piece out. See, it has the gold pieces. Simple. It's very similar to the one that we have now. Y'all almost broke it already. But this is what it looks like. So I got two of these. I'm assuming. Um, oh, it has this piece. I guess you put this piece in first. It's like just a, a black piece. And then you put the, the crystal in. I mean the glass in. So yeah, those are what I have for my my master bathroom. I still had to purchase the mirror that I want in there. 
these are just light bulbs and those are either for my master bath light that I just showed you or they're for these these are the fixtures that I got for my front the front of my house I like these nice and simple um, they're they're hardwired so you can flip the switch up and down but they're also solar operated they're censored I mean they're censored so they'll if they're not on they will come on if anybody walks on my front porch so I really like those And then I got these for my dishes. They're bamboo plate holders. For my island, I have a drawer that pulls out. And this is what they look like. You can set it to different sizes. So if you want to use it for smaller plates, you can. Or if you want to use it for bigger plates, you can. On my island, I have a large drawer that I want to use to put my dishes in. So, um, I wanted to make sure that they were stacked in there neatly and they weren't going to shift or move. So, I bought several of these plate holders to make sure that that goes smoothly. All right, next box. What do we have in here? Okay, so in this box is it's the other this is the other light fixture for the bathroom for the master bathroom the one that I just showed you I don't know what this is let me see actually I think this is the hardware that I chose for the other bathroom the brown bathroom I was telling you about Look at that. It's just the pull, a cabinet pull. And it's so cute. It's so cute, but I'm gonna have to take it to the house and put it up against the cabinets and see if it's going to work. I really like it, it's cute. I wanna get a mirror that's very glammy. Um, the bathrooms in the hallway are for both or for all everyone in the house basically I have a half bath in the on the first floor for guests and then upstairs I have two full bathrooms in the hallways for the children I didn't want to use um, like have one room have its own bathroom or anything like that I mean I wish I could have built a house that every uh, room had a bathroom but we didn't we didn't so we got instead of having um, one of the bedrooms because sometimes they do that they have like a princess bedroom where one of the bedrooms has its own bathroom and then the other two bedrooms in the house share i didn't want that so i designed it to where um there's one bathroom on each end of the hallway that way they can share and also in the bathrooms i have the shower and toilet separated you can close the door and then the sink area um, can be used um, so that so there's no reason why anyone can't get ready um, at the same time because that's the problem that I have with my girls. Everybody's like, oh, so and so is the bathroom. I can't, you know, brush my hair. I can't do this. I can't take a shower. So now you have two bathrooms and there's doors separating the functions in the bathroom. So my one daughter can be taking a shower, door closed and locked, and somebody else could be in there brushing their teeth or doing their hair. So, I wanted my ears. Hold on. <laughs> I wanted to design the house that way so everybody can function. This is just the other um, set of curtains. Alright guys, we're moving along. Uh, I don't know what this is. 
Oh, okay. So this is the light fixture for the bathroom that I said has the blue uh, cabinetry. My youngest daughter actually picked this one out. Uh, but this one is very, very simple. It's just this and this is the light. I don't know, I'm looking at it, it looks too simple, but that's what they wanted. So I helped them, I mean, I let them pick like, you know, little things like this. So yeah, this is cute. All right, next box. All right, so these are more curtains. Now these, oh, let me show you these. My daughter, my 11-year-old. Um, I was gonna say my 10, cause she just turned 11 uh, this week. Actually, no, last week. So she picked these. They're white, but then they transition to a pink at the bottom. So, as you can see, I guess it's too much light, but you see this is the top of the curtain. This is the bottom of the curtain. So I know she's going to absolutely love these. Look how dark the bottom gets. See how it's too much natural light coming in. It's kind of blocking it, but it's very, very pretty. And it looks really good and it's heavy. Um, so yeah, these are her curtains. So those are for two windows, because like I said, they have two windows in their rooms. This is a big box. A big box that has another big heavy box in it. So That's what it was. I couldn't remember. I had actually purchased two lights, two different lights for my master bath because I don't know what this is. It has to be a piece to the light. I didn't know which one I would like better. So I purchased two so I could take them in the space and see which ones I like. And this is the other one, and I already see, I don't think I'm gonna like these better than the other ones. See how these look? But these have like crystals. Let me see if I can get a good. See how it has the crystals on the bottom of this? So. So they're black and gold, but then they have these crystals. I don't know guys. Let me know your thoughts. Comment down below. Which ones do you think you like best? These that are black and gold with the crystal and it is a, a LED light. Or do you like the other ones that I showed you earlier? Let me know. This big old light I purchased for 
my girl's bat well the the bathroom with the brown cabinetry and this the box already is if it's the the length of the box is way too big and i know i'm gonna have to send it back but sometimes it can just be packaging maybe they package it really well so let me open it and make sure that that's not the case because I wanted it long for the whole space because that particular bathroom has two sinks in it and I'm gonna have to get two mirrors or get a large mirror to cover the whole space so I did want a long uh, chandelier coffee but I, I think this is too big Jeez, low key. So, this is what that one looks like. I'm just going to open up half. But, as you can see, it's just like a long. It has one, two, three, four, five. It might be. It might be good enough. It has five lights. It has the, the round, a curved. It holds up um, the light here. You see it has like the ball remember I used the like the diamond on the on the um, the pole for the cabinetry I don't know I, I like it I like that it's this is gonna match the the sinks and the the um, faucets and stuff so I don't know I like it I like it I think I'm gonna take it over to the space and see what it looks like oh I didn't show you the bottom part so this is what the bottom looks like it has a plastic on it but it's basically like a crystal so it goes here like this all right guys so I have two more boxes left um, I've already opened them because my camera was full and I had to delete some stuff so I don't have much time left. <laughs> so I opened it and this is what's on the one box, which is the other fan for the, oh, it's upside down. <laughs> the other fan for the family room that I told you I got. It's a Hunter fan, it's 60 inches. It's really big um, because the, the ceilings are like 20 feet in the family room. So I knew I needed to get something big. This is black and gold. It does have a light fixture in it. Um, it is remote control, so um, yeah, I like it. It's cute. The other last thing I got were these um, cream color curtains. I'll show you what they look like. Here you go. And I got these, I haven't decided if I'm going to use them in my stepdaughter's uh, bedroom or if I like them, I'm going to use them in my dining room. It all depends. I don't know. I have to play around with a lot of things. All right, guys, let me know what you think of this video. You will most likely see a lot of these kinds of videos. We've been wanting to move for about five years now. We've been looking, looking, looking. We couldn't find anything, so we decided to build. So I say that to say that we have to buy everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. The stuff that we have is old or outdated or it's mixed match because something broke and we needed it. Um, so we just bought whatever just to get us through. We didn't want to buy any furniture or anything like that for this house because we didn't know if we were going to be able to transition it to the next house and year in year out we kept thinking it was this is the year we're going to move this is the year we're going to move so i'm not going to buy furniture because we might move in a couple months and then what if it doesn't fit that house then what do we do so we told ourselves that for five years so everything that we have like i said is either old broken or it's new but it doesn't match the stuff we have now so really not gonna match the stuff we're going to buy so when I tell you we're moving from here with our mattresses and my big uh, couch 
that I spend a lot of money on. <laughs> um, but other than that, it's our clothes and everything else we're buying new from kitchenware, pots, um, curtains, sheets, towels. Every single thing is going to be brand new. So I will most likely be shopping for about a year, <laughs> which I hate shopping, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, I've already purchased all the appliances, um, uh, all the, the big stuff for the house. So when I give you guys a tour of that, you'll see that. Um, but these are just little things that I felt that I needed to purchase right away um, that I wanted to have as soon as we moved in um, and there's still a lot more I went shopping at Marshall's TJ Maxx home goods and I purchased some other stuff but I will show you that in a separate video because I believe this one was like long enough as it is <laughs> so we're gonna cut this short let me know um, what do you guys think about the items that I purchased comment down below let me know I will also link my Amazon store um, and I will link these items that I purchased in my Amazon um, store in case you see anything that you like that you wanted to purchase. So I will leave that down in the description. Okay, loves, I, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'm trying to get this channel up like my hair channel, which by the way, I will link down in the description down below if you're interested in hair care, hair color, anything dealing with hair. I am a stylist, so that's what I do um, at my day job. So I upload videos um, doing that. So if you're interested in that, you can follow that channel. But before you go there, make sure you follow this channel. Make sure you um, hit the like button so that YouTube can show this video to other people. I appreciate you. I'll see you in my next video.